Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, my name is Esther Moffrey. In today's in today's video, I want to do a weekly analysis. I want to show you guys what I'm trading, what uh, what is on my watch list and my thoughts. So if you're interested, keep on watching. So let's start with GBP card. Already had done analysis, but I'll take you through to what I think. Um, what I think that uh, I will, uh, the market will do for me to hope in. So on GBP card, we can see very clearly that this is for our time frame. Uh, the, there's a break of structure here. The market came up. Buyers broke this uh, resistance that were not, was not able to be broken after two attempts. By the third attempt, they broke. So having a break of structure, I'm taking this as a retest. So everything here, for me, I think this is a retest. This is a retest of this break of structure. So the market, you can see it has attempted, the sellers ha has attempted first. The first time they were unable to break the support. They have come in, they have attempted the second time, and now we are on the third time. Now, what happens is whenever a support or resistance has been tempted third, third times, the third one, Mostly the market will push up. So if this market doesn't push up even the third attempt, this market can consolidate. And when a market consolidates, all I do is to put a box and wait for that market to break the box. So un um, until I see this market maybe going up and uh, um, it's not able to break resistance, I won't put my box. At the moment, all of this, I'm taking it as, as a retest. So how do we enter a retest? First, we wait for green candle. You can see we waited. There was a green candle here. Let me first delete that. There was this green candle that printed today. Today is on Monday, 27th. And then this green candle, you ask yourself, is it bullish and golfing? So it's for you to ask yourself it's bullish and golfing you need to look at the previous candle the previous candle is a good sell momentum candle so this green candle it didn't engulf the red one so if not put wbb so this market you could not enter why it was not going to our to our and uh the entry signal so i'm waiting to see if the market will break this box for us to have a bullish engulfing candle for me to enter and my target is this high so i'll be targeting back here so if this market breaks here we may target the next resistance so gbp card i'm only waiting if the market breaks this box for me to buy what if they break on the downside if they break on the downside they may be coming to retest this zone you see even here we have break of structure. Let me show you quickly. If they break down, they may be testing here because even here we have BOS. There's break of structure. So for me, I'm not quickly, I won't be quick to sell because the market may break this level to come in, retest here that we had break of structure. So the minute I'm thinking to sell, if the market breaks this support, if that market now breaks this support, that's when my mind will shift completely from buy to sell. So if at all I see the market breaking this support, I will know for sure the sellers are in control. But even if they come here, they come here, I don't, I won't be in a, in a rush to sell. So for me, GBP card, I'm still, I'm waiting for entry signal to enter that market. USD card. USD card, I had told you in previous videos, I have been doing these videos, I told you this is a shoulder. USD card, this is a shoulder. All of this is the head. So we are thinking maybe we might get the next shoulder. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for entry signal. And if you have been here, you know entry signal, they are very easy. We just wait first, we wait for green candle. We had seen a green candle here at the the 12th uh, candle that printed, but it was not engulfing. Check if it is bullish engulfing. If it's not, 
put WBB. So all I'm waiting is to see a green is to start the process again. I wait for green candle or I wait for a candle that will break this box. Is selling if the market breaks here, I'll be looking for retest and then I sell. So let's say sellers break this support and I would want to see a break in daily time frame because I'm in four hour. Four hour they can break but daily the candle can close above the support. So on daily I would want for me to think of selling USD card, I want the support to be broken. But in uh, at this moment, I'm only thinking on buy and I'm just waiting for buy signal. Euro USD, mm, Euro USD, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit on the consolidation. Why the market tested one to, uh, the resistance tempted to break. It is not breaking. So I'm thinking if these buyers can come and push this market and break this resistance, I may be thinking of an entry. That's why I've said wait the price to break the channel. If it is for sale, even if they break this trend line that I have put here and then the market comes and don't break here. Even if they break the trend line but they don't come and break the support, I won't enter sell. So unless I see the market breaking this channel, that's when I will be comfortable buying or selling Euro USD. So at the moment, Euro USD it is on the watch list, waiting for the channel to be broken. GBP USD, GBP USD. Again, we are on the channel. The market uh, broke structure. You can see this market broke structure here. So we have BOS. So there's a BOS here. BOS. So the market broke structure. All I thought is all of this is the retest. But this retest, it has created a channel. The market is unable to break this resistance. You can see it has been tested most many times. Even if this resistance is broken, the first take profit is this high. So I, I said I don't want to trade inside the box because even if I enter here, the next take profit is high and you can see it is perfectly aligning with the trend line. So again, GBP USD have said, I will take a look if the market breaks this box. If they break below, even if they break this trend line, I want them to break this box for me to continue selling or to think of selling. So GBP USD, I'm neither, I'm neither having a mind to buy or to sell because it is still on my zone. Audi USD. Audi USD, it is very, very unique. Why? The market, we have a double bottom uh, on the daily that has failed to come back. Uh, we have this double bottom. You can see very clearly. This double bottom is on the daily time frame. The market came halfway and now we can see the market trying to come down. So unless we have a very, very clear that the double bottom on daily, it was accurate, I'm not willing to uh, hope in this, this market. If at all I can see price breaking this channel, this box, I may be thinking of buying and buying continually. Maybe selling if this support, the red one, where I've put support breaks. So sometimes market needs just patience. So don't be in a rush to enter your trade. If you at all, don't force the trades. If this market is uh, on this channel, I'm not trading. So let's see GBP Audi. GBP Audi again, we are on a channel and that channel is on the daily. You can see it on daily very clearly. So I'm not trading. I won't be trading GBP Audi for a very long time because the market may stay on this channel for another one month. So we had a double bottom here. We had a double bottom and the market failed to break this neckline. I was really waiting for the market to break the neckline, but they were unable. But initially they tried to take the market down. It never removed the support. The market never broke support. So again, I cannot get involved inside the box. It's either they break the neckline or they come and break the support to invalidate this double bottom. So GBP Audi trying to trade it on the uh, inside the channel, it's very, very dangerous. Why? Whichever side it will decide and if you are wrong, uh, you are caught on the wrong side, it will not be good for you. So GBP Audi, just go on daily, put this box and forget about it. Come every day to see which side the market has broke into. So uh, we have GBP JPY. 
So GBPJPY, I had a setup. Let me show you my setup before we discuss. This was my setup. And I told guys, um, if the market, this market has a head and shoulder, you can see we have this is a shoulder. This is the head and this is the shoulder. So the market has to come first and break here for us to think of selling. If it doesn't, it will go back to the head. So what I had initial, uh, initially in my mind is that the market was here when the market was opening. And I told people to, to if WBB happens, they should sell. But we had this big momentum candle. You can see this big momentum candle. So many people were, were texting me saying, oh, the market has done WBB, I will sell. But again, if you have been here on this channel, we don't consider bearish momentum candle if the previous candle is a doji. Once the candle is a doji, we take this candle as a new candle where we just put a box and we wait for box break. We put WBB. So this may, may be a bearish engulfing candle, but the previous candle, we can see it has engulfed a doji. There's nothing like engulfing a doji. So this market was in decision. So this market, the sellers may be a manipulation or it may be a manipulation of anything. So when I put the box, you can see the next candle, it didn't break. And now the buyers are breaking on top. Don't hope in to buy because even if you buy, this is your take profit. So wait for a very good setup. If the market comes up here and break this ahead, everything that I had said, head and shoulder, it is invalidated. Again, on daily time frame, this is what I had seen. On daily time frame, now let me go to the GBPJP that has no um, structure. So on daily time frame, GBPJPY, we have a head and shoulder. Ah, we have a double top. You can see this double top and this is neckline. So this is what I saw yesterday when I was analyzing. And this market came all the way from here. This is where the market had come from. So we have GBPJPY, you have a double top double top so this market we have a double top here so if we have a double top here and this being our neckline see guys this is our neckline so we have a double top our neckline the market started going down i told you one of the best ways to trade double top the first take profit is where the half of the are the, the, the measure of the top to the neckline. And you can see it perfectly came to the first uh, take profit. So for us, this for this market to come back to the neckline, we need to see the end of this retracement because for me, I think it has it is a retracement. For from the uh, from daily perspective, using WBB, we already have an entry. We already have a go ahead to trade in this market from daily perspective. But I told guys on my Telegram, if you enter this sell immediately, know that your stop loss will be so high. So if you entered immediately, your stop loss will be three hundred and twenty six pips because if the market market can come back to this uh to this zone, so why would you want to have to hope in a market where you are risking so much? So I told them let's flip to four hour to look for uh, what is happening on four hour, and this is why we found that the market might have a shoulder. So we might that is a small neckline of the shoulder. So that's a neckline. So let me show you. So we have the head here and then we have these shoulders. So that is what we have on the four hour. So we have the head. Let me write for you guys. We have the head. And then we have the shoulder. So we have the shoulder and the another shoulder. So this, this shoulder is what we are thinking it might drop here. And then if the market drops and breaks this neckline, of course, it will go all the way. But remember, the actual neckline on daily double top is this one. So I was telling guys, this market has potential to move from where it is to here. And I was calculating and it was coming to around a thousand pips. So if we calculate with you, it's a thousand pips. 
at 1047 but but immediately the market gave us this momentum candle you can see they gave us this momentum candle and that's why i say don't say oh it's a bearish engulfing candle it has engulfed this doji and you enter sell no you do wbb because you don't consider bearish engulfing on doji indecision candle so once we did this wbb you see the market is now it didn't break so we are we can't be in this market so what we do the two th two things we can do on gbp jpo if we want to trade it this market can be a small double double top so the market has attempted the first attempt this is a second attempt so this being the second attempt we don't know if here we have a and it is on the trend line so this is the first attempt second attempt trend line rule three attempts first two three so at 12 noon if this market breaks this trend line know very well that the market will meet come back here so you don't if it breaks like this we forget about head and shoulder pattern if it breaks if it forms like this if it gets rejected we will look for entry candle so that's what I, I can tell you don't be in a rush but my theory here is if this market starts to drop it is dropping a thousand a thousand pips it will go back to 155 so gbp jpy has a very good chance for us to get in to get involved but the key thing here is the entry the entry is what destroy many traders so guys uh that is our gbp jpy if it if it candle breaks this trend line let me show you with what i have uh, written on my if it breaks this trend line of course it is coming to uh, this the next trend line and we will be so careful not the head not to be broken so if you see the market gbp jpy if we see for instance they come and break above and create a higher than this head the whole uh, analysis of head and shoulder is invalidated so come come back at 12 noon to check what is happening will the market break this trend line if it does not break you just uh look for uh, look for 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 entry so if it does not break we'll look for entry and if this market comes down we might be having the market going all the way to 155 so gbp has a very good chance but let's be patient the last but not least it's audi jpy Audi JPY, you can see already we have this is a shoulder, the head, and then this market. The shoulder, I'm thinking the market wants to come back to this place. So I had told people they can enter sell, but again, we had a very big momentum candle that came to uh, get to, to stop at our trend line. So there's no way you can enter sell at the trend line, guys. So you need to see this market. If this market uh, can come here to create the second shoulder it will it can bounce off the 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 shoulder if this market breaks like this um there's there's a way you can wait for a clear direction of the market if you go to daily time frame if you go to daily time frame let's pick out djp that has no um you can see clearly that the market that the market closed with a momentum green candle so the buyers may try to push the market up so don't be quick to enter sell because i have said so do your own analysis wait for either daily candle close four hour candle close for you to make decision but <clears throat> either way if at all you get an opportunity we will be trading this pair so i only have eight pairs on my watch list and the pairs that may have opportunities are GBP, JPY, Audi, JPY, GBP card, and USD card. The rest are on a channel. Unless they break channel, I may not be trading them. So if you are waiting, if you want to watch the whole trade, that can, the pairs that can be giving you opportunity, GBP, JPY can give you opportunity. You just need to know what is happening. Audi, JPY can give you opportunity. Just be ready to know what is really happening where is my chances you can't be uh thinking to buy here because you this market has been breaking uh it is it is not it is not 
advisable to buy because there is WBB. Know that what the trend of the market. So GBP card also it's a good pair to wait for the instructions to happen and USB card. Thank you so much guys for watching. Until next time, bye bye. Love you.